Good morning, Akila. Hey everyone, good morning. I see you already got up and read today's newspaper. Anything good? Eh, not really. Okay, well, that's boring. Oh my goodness. Do I see a first grader in the house? Good morning, Reese. How are you feeling today? And good morning, girls. Good morning. Good morning, mommy. Mommy, I'm actually really excited for my first day. Really glad to hear that. Stand up. Let me see how your uniform looks. You look adorable. The shirt does look a little big, but that's okay. You'll have time to grow into it. What about the pants? How are they feeling? They feel fine. Um, August, do you mind uh, having a word with me in the kitchen? No, I don't mind. I need more coffee anyways. Okay. And what are you doing begging on this keyboard like we didn't spend a bunch of money on this thing for you? You shouldn't even be playing these video games before school. You know these games rot your brain, right? What are you doing, sniping somebody? Is this what you wanna do when you're older? You wanna snipe people and go to prison? Bro, this try hard. Look at you, your cereal is getting soggy. You know you're not gonna want it after a while. Leo, get off the game and eat your food. I'm almost done with this match, hold on. Hold on? Nah, cause you got the wrong ones. You better eat your cereal before we have a bigger problem. Ugh, okay. This boy must have lost his dang mind. I'm actually a little nervous for Reese's first day of school. I'm glad he's excited, but you know, kids can be really mean. And I just want the best for him. He's such a sweet kid. Yeah, kids can be ruthless sometimes. But don't worry, Reese will be fine. I sure hope hope so. I think it's about time to throw these muffins away because they've been here for a while. So if you could toss those out for me, that would be great. And I need to figure out what I'm going to eat. And I know I don't see the laptop on again. Did you even brush your teeth this morning? Because it smells like you didn't. Uh, August, you deal with him. I think we're going to have to take that laptop away. What? No! I'll get off, I'll get off. Oh, now he want to get off. Yeah, you better get off. I guess I'll just make some oatmeal this morning. I don't have a lot of time. Hey, uh, do you think you could uh, drop me off at Pizza Planet? I have some painting and construction work to do. Oh, um, yeah, of course. Since it's on the way to the kids' school. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, kids. It's time to hustle and bustle. If you didn't finish your breakfast, you better finish it now. Because if you don't, we're going to be late. And I also have no idea where my car keys are. Okay, I'm all done. Good job, Reese. Are you finally brushing your teeth? 
Mm hmm Well, why are you brushing so aggressively? I know your gums is about to be bleeding. Slow down a little bit. I know we're in a rush, but that looks like it hurts. Anyways, uh, we'll see you out in the car because I need to finish my oatmeal. All right, let me finish eating this and then I need to put this bowl in the sink. And you just are in the way this morning. If you want to be in the way, at least take the bowl for me. All right, now let me find these dang car keys. How is your morning, Reese? It's going good. It makes me so happy that all the kids are getting along. Thank you for asking, Livy. Reese, I bet you're gonna have a great first day. I hope so. Kids, were any of you playing around with my car keys and the house key? Because I know y'all tend to do that a lot and I really don't know where they are. I haven't seen them. Okay, girls, not me. Livy, not me either. All of a sudden, nobody knows where mommy's keys are. Okay, that definitely took a lot longer than expected, but I finally found my keys. They were actually behind the pillow. So, all right, let's close the garage door. Leah is getting in the car and I'm driving. Okay, kiddos, make sure to buckle up, please. Wait, I forgot my row pods. What do you need your row pods at school for, Leo? I'm confused. You go to school to listen to your teachers, not ignore them with row pods. Them kids be loud, though. I know how you feel. I live with four kids and a man child. Trust me, you'll be okay. Do you think you'll be done by the time the kids get out of school? Yes, I should be. Okay, well, we love you and have a good day. Please be careful. We all know you're here for more than just work. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Have a nice day at work. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye, Dad. Bye, kiddos. And I hope you have a good first day at school, Reese. And thanks, Akilah, for dropping me off. See you guys later. What is he still waving for? Go to work! <laughs> okay, so we just arrived at the school and I'm just getting a few things out of the trunk that I need for my class today. Do you need any help? Actually, I think I'm okay. Thank you for asking, but Leah, do you think you can uh, walk Reese to his class? Um, he's having Mr. Parker as his teacher. And don't worry, I won't count you as late in my class. Okay, mommy. I will. Okay, let me just lock up the car. I guess I'll see you guys all after school. I hope you have such an amazing day, Reese. Leo, can you take me to my class? Yeah, I got you, Liv. I love you too, Mommy, and I'll see you after school. Oh, there he goes. Bye, Reese. Okay, this is your class, so I'll see you later. Thank you, Leah. See you. Who's knocking at the door? Um, hi. My name is Reese. I'm supposed to be in Mr. Parker's class. Are you Mr. Parker? Hello there. Uh, yes, I am Mr. Parker. Why don't you come on in? Class, one, two, three, eyes on me. My mom's eyes are always on you. Uh... Anyways, we have a new student joining us today. Would you like to introduce yourself, Reese? Hi, my name is Reese Hernandez. Um, I'm six years old. And I hope that I can make a lot of friends today. That was great, Reese. How about you go take a seat at the green chair? Okay. Hi, I'm Kari. Hi, I'm Blake. What are those things in your ears? We can't listen to music at school. You kind of look like a robot. These are actually my hearing aids because I can't hear very well. Blake, stop. Don't be rude. Hearing aids? That sounds goofy. So can you even hear me right now? Don't listen to Blake. There's nothing wrong with your hearing aids. I wish I couldn't hear you. You're just saying that because you think he's cute. Reese and Kari sitting in a tree. You're such a bully, Blake. I'm just a nice person sticking up for a new friend. I call out the facts. That's it. And I call out meanies. Blake? Oh, hi, Mr. Teacher. 
If you don't mind, how about you switch seats today with Emily? I'm just helping my friend Reese out, but he couldn't hear me. That's enough, Blake. I don't want to switch with Emily. That table smells bad. Too bad, so sad. I don't want to hear it, Blake. Switch now. Whatever. Hey, Reese, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Blake bullies me because of my hair all the time, so I know how you feel. How could he do that? I really like your hair. Don't worry, Reese. Everything's gonna be okay. I wish I had hair like yours. Well, thank you. My mommy says bullies are just people who feel bad about themselves. And I wish I had hair like yours, Emily. This thing is a lot of work. Your mom's probably right. I'd say so too. I can't stand them. Okay class, start wrapping it up. We're gonna head out for recess soon. So my class is in drama right now. But the bell just rang and I think it's time for the first grade recess. Um, I see Mr. Parker. I don't see Reese. I hope everything's okay. Oh wait, no, there he is on the swings. I really hope he's having a good day. All right, off to the teacher's lounge, I go. Hey, get off, I want to swing. Blake, I'm going to kick you if you don't back up. Oh, be quiet, Kari. Wait your turn. Before I tell Reese you have cooties. You'll have your turn when we're done. Hey, no fighting. Blake, go kick rocks. I want my turn now. I don't even have cooties because they don't exist. You're saying that because you're a girl and girls have cooties. You know what? I'm just gonna go play some soccer. You are so... What's the word my mommy taught me? Ignorant. Mr. Parker, can I go to the bathroom? Can I go too? Bathroom buddies. No fooling around, girls. No one likes you here. Go back to what other school you came from. That's not true. People do like me. Well, there's not enough room for you here. Why are you being so rude to me? What did I do to you? Because it's fun. And besides, you said you couldn't hear me anyways, so you should be just fine. That's it. I'm done here. Haha, <laughs> dweeb. standing out here for quite a while now and I'm not sure where Reese is. Isn't that, isn't that Mr. Parker? Hey, Mr. Parker, how's everything going? Oh, hey, Mrs. Collins. Everything is great, how are you? I, I had a quick question for you. Hmm? Uh, you know, you had a new student in your class today. His name is Reese Hernandez. Have, have you seen him since school got out? Cause I'm, I'm not sure if you know this, but uh, I'm actually fostering him. Oh, the new kid in my class. Isn't he such a joy to be around? Oh, I, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he got picked up in a red car. What do you mean he got picked up in a red car? Please say you're joking. Which way did the car go? Uh, they went towards town, I think. That way. Oh my gosh, whatever happened to making sure kids got in the right car? Jesus. Kids, we have an emergency. What's going on? Don't put the blame on me. Oh, you have some nerve, don't you, Mr. Parker? I think Reese got kidnapped. Mr. Parker said Reese got into another car. What? What? Um, yeah, and apparently they had it towards town, so I need to call your dad and we need to drive to town right now. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be in so much trouble. Hurry up, get in the car, get in the car. Why is he waving at us like he didn't just watch our kid get kidnapped? Come on, Leo, get in the car. Call your dad right now. There's so many people, where's your dad? Oh, there he is. Get in the car, quick. I, I cannot drive right now. I, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. August, this is so bad. What happened? Apparently, Reese's teacher let him get into another car. He said it was a red car that he headed towards town. Reese has been kidnapped. What? Please, drive us around town. We have to find him. Before it's too late, they could be going anywhere. Berry Avenue, 
Brookhaven? Let me get in the car. Go, go, drive, drive. Wait, I see a red car in the Bloxy Burgers parking lot. Oh my gosh. Hurry, hurry. Hey, you, old man, open this door right now. Hey, don't hey me. Where's the little boy that you took from school? Get out this car. What's all the ruckus? What boy? Oh, don't play the innocent, I'm just an old man act now. You got a little boy in your car or what? You doing something weird? Hey, get that little kid away from my car and that big one too. So first you wanna kidnap our child and insult our family? Let me give you this combo. Step out this car. Kidnap? I'm trying to eat my burger. See, you're already lying. You don't even have a burger in your hand. Just step out the car. This is life or death. Do you want to be locked up in prison? Well, you about to eat this knuckle sandwich. We'd never treat our elders this way back in the day. Get out of the car. I can't. You people are frightening me. Okay, okay, we'll be calm, but please. Our son is missing. I don't want to go into cardiac arrest again. Oh my gosh, please. Last time, I fractured a hip. Okay, okay. Just stop all the whining. Okay, we just want to check your car. Are you sure you haven't seen a little boy? He's like this tall. He was wearing a school uniform that looked just like his. You really have no idea what we're talking about? Actually, now that you mention it, check the trunk while this man is talking. I think I saw the little boy that you mentioned in a red blocksy voyage, heading down towards the pier. The pier? Thank you. Thank you for your help. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry we scared you. All right, um, right, let's go to the pier then. You're welcome, ma'am. Oh my goodness, guys, this is so crazy. Thank you, sir. Sorry about earlier. Have a great day. Crazy people. Well, that was absolutely embarrassing but okay i guess we're gonna head towards the pier now i really hope that reese is there and he's not with someone bad okay guys we made it to the pier and there's a red car it's a bloxy voyage like the guy said okay oh my god i see reese but that's not the only person I see. Oh my god. How do you like your ice cream, sweetie? It's so good. Strawberry is really yummy, but I don't know. Vanilla might have it be. Rosalina Hernandez. I should have known. Not this girl. What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? What are you doing near my son? I'm scared. Who is that lady? I'm clearly spending time with my son. Not yours, mine. I birthed him. Y you guys know each other? Oh, a little too well. Stay back, Livy. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt, but you kidnapped our foster son. This is a bad woman, Reese. A very bad woman. Oh, I'm bad. But yet, you tried to destroy our whole family by seducing my husband. Now, isn't that crazy? It just sounds like you guys were irresponsible. Who lets another person take your kid? We're irresponsible. Did you not just get out of, what, jail? What did you even do to get in there? Again, you're not even supposed to have Reese right now. There's nothing in the legal documents that say you have any scheduled visits. Shh, not in front of Reese. How did you even find where Reese was? Reese, honey, turn your hearing aids down. Well, I parked outside of every school in Bloxburg until I saw him. My baby. You have that much time on your hands? Are you crazy? Crazy is an understatement, Leo. Oh, shut up, August. With all that time on your hands, you still haven't found a gym? <gasps> oh, no, she didn't. Hold me back. Sad. You know what, Rosalina? Let's be real here for a second. You know that Reese is safe with us, regardless if you're his mom or not. So if you want to run and go tell social services... You can do that, but just know that he might end up somewhere that's not so safe. We're taking good care of Reese, and I'm sure he could tell you that. You can hate me all you want, but I'm a good mother. I can't speak for some people. How? 
You don't know my baby like I do. Do do you know him though? Cause while you were while you were locked up, we were with him. I know that he wants to be with me. Oh, is that right? His real mother. Just because we're not blood doesn't mean that we're not family. And I know I may seem crazy or whatever, but wouldn't you do the exact same for one of your kids? Okay, I, I guess I can see where you're coming from because I probably would. Look, I get very defensive over Reese. He's my only baby, my pride and joy. He's not mine. Right? August, what the H-E double hockey sticks? And I can't stand being away from him. You wish. Hmm. <laughs> okay, once again, we understand that you're his mom, but you cannot do what you just did. You really had us worried sick and we could all get into a lot of trouble for this. I know, I know. And I guess when you care for someone that much, you get a little crazy. A little? This dog needs to be put down. Okay, okay, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I guess the one who really deserves an apology right now is Reese. I'm so sorry you had to see that and your mom and I may not get along the best. I'm not sure if we ever will, but we can try to make things work. We just might have to keep this a little hush-hush for the social worker, okay? Okay, thank you, Akila. I know we've had our differences, but this means a lot. You're welcome, Rosalina. And after I get Reese back, I have no issue with him staying over your house sometimes. Oh, wow. Um, that actually really means a lot. How does that sound, Reese? Yes. Thank you guys for trying to make things better. You're welcome, Reese. Anything for you, honey. Well, um, now that that's kind of situated, how was your first day at school, Reese? Yes, do tell us. Um, not so good, actually. What? Why? What happened? It was that Mr. Parker, wasn't it? I got bullied at school by some kid named Blake. He was picking on me for wearing hearing aids and said that nobody liked me. And I got really sad. So when I saw my mommy, I got really happy. And she took me out for ice cream. Who? I'll mess him up. Oh, we all will. Cause now we're a team. I'll beat him up if I have to. Nobody messes with my little brother. No, no, you guys don't have to do that. Leah, you've got some spunk. I like that. Okay, well, I think everyone here deserves some ice cream after what happened. Reese, we can definitely get you another scoop. And Rosalina, if you want another ice cream cup, we got you. Agreed. All right, well, let's go get it. Thank you, Akila. Well, today took a really big turn, but I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight